Anyways, welcome to another episode of Drive Time. We're on episode number five. I kind of honestly shocked with myself that I've made it this far, but that was the point of these videos. They're super easy to make, and they're daily Monday through Friday. Um, so it makes it a lot easier. Now that we're back in town, it makes it easier to make them, you know? Anyways, like I said, it's Wednesday. It's church day. Should be a whole lot of fun tonight at church. Um, it got me thinking about what I might want to talk about today, which is that you just you need to, to go to a good church or or even a strong church. I feel like today there's a lot of weak churches, and I'm not calling any churches out. You know, I don't have a problem with any churches or any beliefs, or I don't have a problem with any people. But I do see how there could be some churches that are a little bit weaker and different than the kind of church that I believe is what we need in this world today. I feel like we need a strong church. I feel like we need a church that when you go to church, you leave feeling like if you're if you're in sin and you go to church, you should feel convicted when you leave church. You shouldn't walk out of church feeling happy in your sinful life. That's not what church is about. Now, I'm not saying that sin is... You know, I'm not saying that you're automatically going to hell if you've got sin in your life. We all have a, an amount of sin in our life. You know, you got to remember what sin is. You've got gluttony, greed, envy, anger, pride, and man, we fight with those every day. But I feel like if you go to a good church, if you go to a strong church, that your pastor should call you out on those things and make you realize the things that you're doing in your life that aren't the best things. And it allows you to be able to work on yourself and try to get closer to God by trying to overcome those sins of your life that you're doing every day that you may not realize until you have a great man of God like your pastor call you out and tell you, you know, hey, these are things that are sins, these are things that you shouldn't be doing, and you kind of need to do what the Bible says and get out of those sins, pray, pray for forgiveness, pray for deliverance, and pray for the strength to overcome. You know, that's the big things right there. You got to pray to be forgiven. You've got to pray to be delivered from your sin and to get away from your sin. And you got to pray for strength so that way you don't end up in this sin again. Because it's very easy to, once you start praying, you know, you've, you've prayed for, you've repented, you've repented for your sins. And, you know, you feel good, you know that God loves you. And then you pray for deliverance and you've not done any of that stuff in a whole long time and you're doing good. And then one day boom everything falls down you fell you're back into that sin again because you need strength god you need the strength from god you need the spirit the holy spirit inside of you guiding you as you go so that way you have the strength that you need to get over sin you know it's it's hard it's not easy you know there's still things that i struggle with daily uh greed is probably a big thing you know that everybody struggles with because you we're in a world, it goes into the in the world but not of the world sort of mindset that you watch TV, you talk to other people and it's like, oh, did you see this new thing or that new thing or this? And then you're like, well, I need to make more money so I can have that thing. But we need to remember that that's not why we're here. You know, we're not here to play with the newest, you know, I like cameras. That we're not here to play with the newest camera or the newest fishing pole or drive the newest truck. But... Sometimes we get a little caught up in the world, and we kind of need to stay out of that. Anyways, anyways, back to churches. I don't. I'm not a preacher. I'm not the person to be listening to. If I say anything that offends you, I'm sorry. Uh, if I say anything that strikes a chord with you that you want to know more about, you, I'm probably not the person to ask. You need to go to your pastor for that. But that goes back into having a strong church and a good church. You need to have a church where there's spiritual leaders that you can talk with, whether it's your pastor, an associate pastor, your student pastor, depending on your age, or you know, somebody that's an elder in your church or a deacon, depending on, you know, what kind of church you go to. Somebody that you can talk to. Somebody that you can go up to and say, hey, I've been struggling with this, or hey, I don't understand this. That's a big thing. A lot of people don't understand certain things out of the Bible. And instead of asking somebody, they just, they don't. You know, or there's churches where there's you don't know who to ask. You know, you want to go to a church where you know who your person is that you can contact and talk to. And I do have to say that I believe that I go to a great church. I go to a very strong church, and one of the reasons that I believe that is my pastor tells it like it is. You know, he doesn't, I mean, don't tell me wrong, he, you're, you're not going to a fire and brimstone church where they're yelling at you and telling you that you're going to go to hell and things like that, but he tells you the truth. He's an honest man. 
he comes in and he tells you like listen if you're doing these things you need to talk to God if you're not praying like you should if you're not reading your Bible like you should if you're not if you're sinning on a daily basis and you know that you're sinning on a daily basis he he, he lets you know you know if he sees something in your life I'm sure that he would be quick to jump on it and tell you hey you need to get this straightened out I go to First Apostolic Church in Maryville Tennessee um, this video should probably be up before service and if you happen to see it before then be sure to join us I'll leave a link in the description of this video to our website so that way you can check out our live streams we live stream all of our services on Wednesdays at 730 Sundays at 10 and then we come back on Sundays at I would think like six I, I, I think it's six o'clock I get there early uh, my wife's in choir and then we go to prayer before church so we normally end up there a little bit early so I have a hard time with what time stuff actually starts because I'm already there normally but we would love to have you and I and if you're somewhere else you know you can hit us up if you're looking for a church and you're looking to find the right church for you I'm sure that we can help place you in a church that we're affiliated with nearby but I want to make it clear this is not an advertisement for my church this isn't an advertisement for anybody's church or any services to get you set up with a church I just I think that people need to know that there are strong churches out there there are really good churches out there and if you feel like you're not in a strong church or you feel like you know that there's some things that you don't agree with don't be afraid to change churches don't be afraid of what people are going to think of you because the the atmosphere that you're in with this church isn't what's important your walk with God is what is important so you need to do whatever is going to be the best for you on your walk with God if that means that if you feel like you're not in the right place with God and you feel like if I go to this other church that I've heard about that my friends talk about and they have a strong pastor and a strong message that he's preaching and you feel like that could be the difference in your life and it could make you have a stronger work with, walk with God then I believe that, that you should probably you know at least go check out that church and see what it's like and see if what you're thinking is correct because that's the most you're not gonna want to mess that up you know we have one shot at life but we get an eternity in heaven and if you live it right here you're gonna be blessed on in, in, in heaven and I believe that you gotta make everything right that you can here and do what it takes you know I, I, I definitely don't want to go to the other place I definitely want to be in heaven that's for sure um, I hope that in some weird way this video helped you I kind of feel like I rambled on and on about stuff but you know good church strong church don't be if don't don't be upset if your pastor's calling you out because he's only trying to help you you know you gotta appreciate your pastor he gets up in front of a lot of people and I would say that the person's you know his messages probably aren't taken over too kindly by everybody so you kind of want to make sure that you respect your pastor and listen to what he has to say and if you don't agree with something that he says well don't call him out because he's got you know who knows how many other people that he's talking to um anyways though, i hope you like this video if it helped you out you know let us know in this the comments below if you want to go to our church if you want to check out our church online we'll have that information in the description and you know um be sure to check us out on thefamilylife.com and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks